It's official, we have a new national team set to compete on the world stage. The Philippine national handball team has secured a spot at the world championship after their successful showing at the 9th Asian Beach Handball Championship. Joining tonight are members of the squad, Rafael Laguilar, Socorro Borja, and Ja Mateo. Ladies, congratulations. Welcome to the game. Really proud to have you all here and congratulations to making it to the world yes. championships. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Rafael, I'll start with you. First first chance, ninyo, first attempt ninyo to actually make it to, to the Asian Championships and all of a sudden, nag-qualify na kayo sa World Championships. What was different about the team? What was so special about yung team na to? Na first try ninyo, uy, mag-qualify na tayo for the Worlds. Uh, for me, parang ano siya, uh, yung nangyari doon na laro namin, um, oh, parang siyang ano siya, um, um, challenging siya doon. Mm -hmm. Challenging siya kasi, Yun nga, first team lang kami, two months lang yung preparation namin. And then, um, ang kalaban namin is mga, marami na siya na exposure like Vietnam and uh, Hong Kong and Indo Indonesian women's team. Mm -hmm. So parang, uh, ano din sa amin, para siyang, is, ano siya, para siyang, um, fulfillment? fulfillment namin. Mm. Alright, um, let's go over, Sok, uh, you were once part of the national team before of the handball. Tapos ngayon, uh, after nawala yung team, tapos ngayon nagbuo ulit. Anong feeling na, you know, two months preparation and then pumunta na kayo sa tournament, nanalo ng championship and now you earned a spot in the 2024, 2024 World Championship. Kamusta yung feeling na now you're back with hardwares around your neck? Anong feeling? Uh, siguro sobrang blessed kasi nga, after short preparation, um, nakamit namin yung goal na ano makasama sa World Championship and then yun nga since new yung team so parang ang saya kasi um, hindi lahat mga karating doon although apat lang yung teams na nag-compete and hindi rin naman namin in-expect na apat lang kami na, mga, na maglalaro that league kasi ang sabi sa amin na nung, nung technical meeting na doon pa lang na-inform na may mga nag-back out, nag out the team so yun so excited of course na makapaglaro ng World Championship kasi since ako eh, hindi na lang sila yung first time yes. pagdating ng World Championship first time ko na rin yun. Absolutely. And, uh, I just want to acknowledge the fact na uy, nandito pala yung trophy. Yes. Uh, this is uh, this is obviously the second place trophy for the ninth uh, Asian Beach Handball Championships that they did bring in over here. And of course, ja, so may nag-back out ng mga teams. So four, four teams yung nag-compete sa competition na yun. Nung nalaman nyo yun, ano yung mentality nyo going into this? Knowing that, okay, mas klaro na yung route going into yung World Championships. Mas klaro na yung route in terms of winning a medal going into the podium. Uh, Siyempre, ano lang kami. Nag-stick lang kami dun sa kung ano yung goal namin nung nagpunta kami dun. Wala naman kaming binago. Uh, Nag-focus lang kami sa game plan ng coaches kung paano kami nagpunta dun. Mm -hmm. Ayun pa rin, nag-stick lang kami dun sa kung anong plan nila. Mm -hmm. Kung ano yung game plan. And of course, you all girl, all you girls play in the beach. You also are a <laughs> beach athlete, and yes. uh, you take a look at the may indoor handball there, and maybe may beach, obviously where where you won uh, championship in your. Z, how impressed are you at the fact that they won the hardware on the sand yes. playing handball? I mean, it's hard to compare sports in general, but um, Rap, could you share with us <laughs> how much different, how much harder it is to play on sand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, uh, Z and I, nag-partner kami ng beach volley before. Yeah. So, mas mahirap talaga yung buhangin, actually. Mabigat, as mabigat, in mabigat. mabigat. Uh, and of course, uh, syempre, grabe rin yung learnings nyo that we can obviously expect from this. Uh, so, you take a look at yung mga learnings so that you're gonna try and take in from your experience at all going into yung World Championships. What do you feel that the team grew in the most in, in terms of yung experience ninyo? that you're going to try to develop more going to the World Championship? Siguro, kasi more on game situation eh. May mga times kasi na minsan mali yung decisions namin every 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 play. Mm -hmm. So siguro kailangan namin ma-practice na yun nga, yung pressure during the game. Kasi since lahat nung nakalaban namin is uh, marami na silang na-experience na game. Kami yun lang talaga together. Mm -hmm. right. So siguro, mas okay, uh, mas kailangan na ma-develop namin yung pressure under ano parang uh, play under pressure talaga yeah. and then yung decision making lalo na sa mga crucial points kasi 
mabilis eh. Yung 10 minutes na one set kasi sobrang bilis. Kahit naman ka ng 10 points ng 5 minutes, kayang bawiin yun up right. to the end of the set eh. So, yun siguro yung mga dapat naming ma-practice pa kasi um, yun, mabilis masyado yung laro. Pwede mm -hmm. magbago after two sets. Mm -hmm. Alright, so anong sa tingin nyo, Za, um, after competing in uh, Bali and training there right after the tournament, anong sa tingin nyo yung mababaon yung learnings and experiences into the World Championships? Uh, yung learnings na nakuha namin doon. Siyempre yung kailangan, lagi kang maglaro ng buo yung loob mo para sa bansa. Um, with pride, maglaro ka with pride and uh, with a big heart. Kasi... Nung pumunta kami doon sa Bali, parang kami yung uniform eh. Kami talaga yung uniform talaga. team. Oh. Mm -hmm. So sa two months na yon, sabi din namin pagdating namin doon, hindi kami uuwi nang wala kaming maipapanalo. Mm -hmm. So naglaro lang kami as a team and with pride, with a big heart. So ayun pa rin yung babaunin namin hanggang sa World Championship. Pride, big heart, and now a couple of medals to take home, as well as a trophy <laughs> and uh, an appearance in the World Championships really, really soon. Ladies and gentlemen, Rap Aguilar, Sok Borja, and Ja Mateo, maraming salamat and congratulations once more. We can't wait to see what you do in the World Championships. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's it for tonight. Thank you for joining us.